Yeah, so we have a bunch of displaced Haitian immigrants who recently made the dangerous trek to come to America and promise of asylum because that is what our laws say. You know that it's legal to show up to legal boarding cr- border crossings claiming asylum. Yeah. Thought that was your block. My niggas ran that. Them niggas big pussy. Pass me a tan pass. Selling that powwow. I got that anthrax. Looking at how, you know, we usually hear people championing immigration efforts and, and how we should embrace the people who come to this country from other countries and how they're contributing members of society and, and things like that. And I'm, I'm talking about the more liberal viewpoint of, of immigration. We already know where the conservative stands. There's no right, reason right, to right. that. But Despite the fact that they were once immigrants themselves. Yeah. But I mean, it's it's it's. Very relevant to point out here that that liberals have a very clear stance Mm -hmm. on, you know, what immigration looks like in this country and how it should be shaped going forward. And it's always centered around the idea that more is better and that, you know, these immigrants are not evil people. They're not bringing drugs and diseases. There are people who are fleeing persecution or, you know, dire conditions that they couldn't possibly survive in. So what I am struggling to understand is the the speed and by which the Haitian immigrants were expelled from the United States. They rounded them up on horses with ropes. With, with ropes, right, yeah. It just reminded me of, like, movies I've seen from slavery and shit on how they was treating people trying to run out or gathering, rather. Very inhumane. There was a photo of a uh, of an encampment under an underpass, um... Somewhere in Texas. I can't I can't think of where the crossing was, but it was somewhere in Texas, I believe. And so the guy had went and filmed and, and took pictures and it was just hundreds of people, rows and rows. It was a tent city because obviously they, they are at a border crossing, but they can't all just flood in. Right. You know, they're mm-hmm. not going to take them all. So within days. It was cleared out. What ended up what ended up happening in general with, with this whole situation? Is that Biden is using a provision um, that is based on uh, health health services? So, because we're in the middle of a pandemic, it gives him the ability to expedite exporting, you know, immigrants for 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 just claiming that it's a health issue, and and it's like. I'm not going to do that thing where I, 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 I'm not going to put out our, our, our Mexican brothers and sisters or our Mexican immigrants or Hispanic immigrants that come to this country and try to put myself at odds with them because of this. But I do find it very interesting on the lengths at which they are willing to go to humanize the Hispanic immigrants compared to compared to what they're what they're doing, you know, when the immigrants look like us, which I, I even told Tia, I'm not surprised by. You want to know what I'm surprised by? We have a president who is a his father was a Jamaican immigrant. Yeah. Yep. Another another islander. Right. Um. I mean, I, it was a pretty momentous moment when we had the first female black president, who was Jamaican, and what else is she? Jamaican and what? Jamaican and Indian. Um, uh, Kamala, <laughs> sister, Kamala, sister, sister, Miss AKA Soror. Let me speak to you that way. So you're okay with people rounding up black people in the middle of the desert with ropes and nooses. You're okay with immigrants who are coming to this country claiming asylum, being expedited being expelled from the country expeditiously ti voice for no other reason than white southern anxieties at the border i mean let's just call it what it is people saw black people hop in the border and lost their fucking shit this is this this just is what it is they lose their mind enough when it's the hispanics but you telling me it's 30,000 blacks that are forcing their way into the country? The South shall rise again. Then they take away the horses, fam. The horses weren't the problem. It was the people on the horses. 
it was the people on the horses that you sent there to do that. Yeah. Uh, it's, I, it's, it's, I'll say it. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing as hell that like, and these days, these days and times, this is still how America, the United States of America is giving it up to our fellow brothers and sisters who have done a lot of things for us indirectly and directly over the years. Hell, we're still in, they're, we're not in debt to them, but I feel like we owe them for some things. Some We owe them. Mm. We owe a lot of these islands. Let me not even say we, because nigga, I, I'm fully, I'm full blood Jamaican. I just mm-hmm. happen to be born in New York. Yeah. If we're being completely honest. No, it's, it's, it's bad, man. I, I, I really would love to sit down and talk to, some of those Kamala Harris supporters, some of those Joe Biden supporters, especially the black ones, because I'm, 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 man, it's it's getting bad, man. So we're 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 expelling thirty thousand Haitian immigrants from the country because white people are anxious. We haven't passed police reform yet. The police reform bill is getting torn apart. They just recently removed qualified immunity from the fucking bill. Thank you, Cory Booker. And the rest of y'all punk ass weak motherfuckers in the black caucus, fuck y'all. Um, I'm 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 trying to figure out, man. It was so much being made about why we need to vote for Joe Biden because Joe Biden was going to make shit so much better for the black lesser, people. The, the, the lesser of two evils. That's the comment that people said mm-hmm. so much to me during that time. And yet, the provision that they uh, that they used to usher out those immigrants without hearing their cases for asylum same trump tactic that he used yeah what the, when he what implemented the, the the muslim ban the muslim ban mm-hmm. fam it's just like we're damned either way you look at it but it's not ha ha laughable but it's laughable when black people co-sign these motherfuckers they do it every 4 years every 4 years we start talking about how important it is to vote and 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 then you then you book that it's like a it's 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 the same program. It's important to vote. Then you boogeyman the conservative. It's important to vote boogeyman the conservative. Important to vote boogeyman the conservative. And then come to find out the conservative ain't no different than the fucking liberal. Them niggas doing the same get shit. They running the same fucking gambit. The same play just with a different only they coat. come only one of them comes to your neighborhood every four years and talks sweet to you, and the other one doesn't. It's the only difference. There's a clip of Biden from back in the day, like in the 80s, 90s, of him talking about Haiti, that if they just washed away, it really wouldn't mean much because, you know, it's nothing but colored people there. If Haiti, a god awful thing to say, if Haiti just quietly sunk into the Caribbean or rose up 300 feet, it wouldn't matter a whole lot. And now he's showing that that's what he thinks about. We really don't need them for this. And this is like, fam, all this shit has come back to light and resurfaced to just smack us in the fucking face. We're fucking doomed, dog. This isn't the first strike against Joe Biden as it pertains to any black issues, as it pertains to any immigrant issues, and it's the same for for Kamala Harris. In fact, Kamala Harris has multiple for both of those. It's just fucking nuts. It is. I I never expected Kamala Harris to say anything about this. I never said expected her to have a, a a strong opinion on immigration reform. I never expected her to go up there and champion. She she told us she wasn't going to go up there and champion black issues. Literally said that shit out of her mouth. Yep. But 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 what I did expect is to see more of those people who claimed that Kamala Harris being in the White House was going to be a good thing, who claimed that having a black woman in the White House would benefit us, that we would benefit from having when, a black when, woman in when, the White House. When, 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 when will we see that? I haven't man? heard her stand up and use her black voice for anything oh, yet. Your parents are, your dad not is a from thing. the islands. That's what kills me the most. It's not like your pops is born in America, his grandparents, your pops is from there. You visited there. You know what it's like. But this shouldn't be a shock after the whole Guatemalan thing. It shouldn't be a shock, but God damn. How do you sleep at night just letting that fly? How do you how do you just pose for pictures and post on social media? Week 16, we're making some progress, got more work to do, but you're not doing nothing. No. You're not doing nothing and this is where the divide happens amongst each other. You realize that though, right? Oh yeah, for sure. Every 4 sure. years, every whether it's every 4 years when it's conversations about niggas getting a vaccine or niggas views on whatever. 
it's another fucking divide. Mm-hmm. As my nigga would say, it's all smoke and mirrors. At some point, we got to wake up. Yes, we have to vote. Don't get me wrong. We have to be aware of what's going on. Take our precautions or whatever it is. But I'm tired of niggas. And when I say niggas, I mean niggas. You niggas who wants to argue on the timeline with me <clears throat> and whoever else call us ignorant for saying, yo, I haven't decided if I was going to vote yet. Or I haven't really made my mind up or I'm really not sure about this. When shit like this happens immediately within the first year, son, within the first year, you're proving points that niggas make. You're proving my point. It don't mean shit. Mm-hmm. Who's in that office? Yeah. Don't none of them give a fuck. That yeah. lesser two evil shit don't mean nothing. And it's, it's so it bad because nothing. the only thing it does is just further disaffect people to the political system, which then gives them even more power than they have now. And it's a terrible cycle. You see Yang started a new party. Fuck Andrew Yang. <laughs> Fuck Andrew Yang and his faux progressivism. That's Fuck his new party. Fuck his political prospects. Fuck. He... Andrew Yang is, is, is another product of our political system, right? Andrew mm-hmm. Yang is a guy who saw a lane that was being occupied by old white people and said, hey, I'm different. Andrew. I can do that. And so he played the part for a good time. And then when he started to gain his popularity and a little bit more influence, he, he went to ass. straight corporatist. He yeah. became a straight corporatist. Yeah. And all of that progressive shit that he was speaking during the primary election, mm-hmm. right out the fucking window. Yeah. Imme- immediately. Right out the fucking window. Immediately with these people. So so miss me with that bullshit. Yeah. Fuck, Honestly. Even fuck his half-assed UBI plan because it. Even within the, his 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 two thousand dollars a month that he's talking about giving y'all, right? Oh, sounds great. Vote for Andrew Yang. Except, you got to give up your food stamps. Got to give up your WIC, your SNAP, all of that. You all may even benefits. have to give up some of your housing assistance. Whatever equals out to two thousand dollars, got to go. Which defeats under defeats Yang, the under whole, Yang's defeats plan. the whole purpose of doing yeah. that, dog. Yeah, defeats the whole purpose of doing yeah. that. All these fucking yeah. empty promises. Yeah. Just save that shit. And again, niggas, niggas. I'm really starting to be, I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired with all of them. AOC voted present on a vote that sent a billion fucking dollars to Israel to improve their Iron Dome. A billion dollars. Billion dollars. We just got done talking about how they are openly bombing a, 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 a surrounded area in Gaza that they can't get out of. They're barricaded on both sides. And they are constantly drone striking that them people for no other reason that the white people live over here and the, and niggas, the Muslims and the, and, and, and the, the Middle Eastern people, the rest, over there. the rest, the rest. This the is rest. our land. You don't belong here. Get out. You don't want to leave. We'll bomb you until you don't exist anymore. And that's exactly what it is. I'm just. And this is what, what to double back just in life and my upbringing. This is and I completely understand why my pops says the shit, the stuff he says, like all my old heads that I grew up hearing, my nigga. This just goes to prove that politics don't mean shit. These niggas don't love you, dog. No, they don't. These niggas is not here. If you don't say whatever, they're going to kiss these babies. They're going to give, give them little fake handshakes and fake hugs to just smack you in the face when they done. They get what they want. You saw what happened. Yeah. If you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Nigga playing Despacito before the fucking My speech. My God. All this oh, pandering. So fucking cringe. Where are they? The strippers doing the get your ass to the polls. The Tims. The Tims. All that shit. She on Desus and Mero doing all sorts of shit. All these niggas. All of They're them. They're all on the breakfast club. All, all of you them. co-signers. All of them, fam. Charlemagne, Desus and Mero. Where, where, what the fuck? What the like, fuck? Yo. So you're not going to call out Kamala Harris for assisting in getting all of them black people who needed to be here. Right? We have thousands of Hispanic immigrants poured into this country on a daily basis. Basis, and I'm not saying that they shouldn't be here. I'm not saying that we shouldn't be doing everything that we can to make them citizens here if they are contributing parts of our society. Right. But damn, why that can't be the standard for people that look like us? And why the fuck can't you open your mouth up to call that woman out? You had her all on your show singing her fucking praises when she was running for president. Now she up there doing all kind of fuck shit, and I can't get you to open your mouth about nothing. So the next time an election time rolls around, 
Ain't nobody. I'm not looking for fucking a uh, 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 Breakfast Club to rubber stamp no fucking candidates for me. I don't give a fuck who goes on Breakfast Club. I don't give a fuck who goes on Hot 105. I don't give a fuck who go on Sway in the morning. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You do all of the black media you want. Talk to me about issues. If it's not issues, I'm not dealing with this shit no more. Fuck the rhetoric. Fuck all the rah rah. Here we go. Fuck all the fear mongering. I'm not going to allow my fear of a candidate or, or something that they can do to my life in the short term. Force me to vote for someone who doesn't deserve and my again, vote. And to our peers, please shut the fuck up. Please. Please. This is not... It's it's no longer this is no longer a thing where the lower voting rates are the fault of the of the voters. This is an implication on the system. Yeah. This is an indictment on the system, on the political system that we live in. Shit, Nina Turner's election that she just lost in Cleveland for for Ohio's 11th, 26% turnout of eligible voters in Cuyahoga County, only 26% of them voted, fam. How many of them do you think was black? What percentage of that twenty six did you think do you think was black? Right, right. Now, 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 Cuyahoga, Summit County those are those are blacker counties, mm-hmm. but still, still, twenty six percent. That's putrid. Yeah, that's fucking terrible. We get twenty twenty six percent in in general elections. We'll be looking at Republican presidents from now until the end of time. That's a fact. So yeah, man, I just uh I'm I'm really disgusted by what's going on, man. This is this is terrible. Hey, 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 hey. Where y'all going? Where y'all going? Thanks for watching another Back of the Bus Squad episode. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to check out another episode related to this, go ahead and click that video to the left. And if you want to catch up on some of our other episodes, make sure you click the playlist below.